So if you want an everyday example of how we visualize, feel something, become one with something, and then transmit that energy into our touch, it's the connection of love. It comes up this way. Our hands turn up this way. Also when we reach to grasp a baby. So we reach to grasp a baby this way and we connect with that little baby. And what do we do? We inhale it to it this way. And this is how we hold the baby, like this. And what does the baby do? The baby responds to our touch. Or if it's something even inanimate, let's say we picking up a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Someone gave us this beautiful bouquet of flowers and we reach for it like this. We inhale it to it and we catch its fragrance and we're holding it just like it was a little baby. So this, or if we want to hug somebody, we hug like this, right? We reach out this way. Nobody that wants a hug walks around like this, right, with these muscles. This is not going to get you any hugs, right? And you, we don't grab a baby this way, you know. So this is the power of our visualization and oneness coming out and transforming or creating or connecting something that is outside of us. So this energy is created and is created all the time. So what we're going to do now is the same idea of expansion. It turns out the expansion flows through these energy paths. So now let's just do love because everybody can do that. And you're reaching for this precious little baby like this and you want to hold it. Right? Like that. Bring it to you. Nobody exhales. <sighs> to bring it to you, you inhale that baby. So you're feeling that energy path. Right? Or if somebody gives you something valuable, you receive it and bring it to you. Or if it's early in the morning and you get that first cup of coffee, hot coffee, you get the cup and you go, oh, that, you know, and take that first sip. Nobody grabs the first cup of coffee like this and goes, like that. It's like this. Oh, that heat in your hands, the aroma. It's all the same. It's all the same. Anytime you want to connect, it's the same. So let's now practice visualizing something else besides love and hot coffee. So now we're going to just visualize a flower growing. If we're an artist, we want to become that flower and it's growing. So we visualize it. I'm a flower, I'm growing. I take a couple breaths to relax. Now, on my next in-breath, I'm going to let that expansion grow in me till it makes a flower growing or a flower blossoming. And my hands capture that energy. And it, you'll notice if you visualize a different type of flower, maybe it's pansies, and they're all on the ground growing. This of sunflower. And you notice your hands move according to the visualization. Rose. Pick some flower that you enjoy. Now we'll visualize fireworks. You notice, depending on the type of fireworks, your hands are going to change. So this is putting visualization 
into our body to make the movement. You notice it wasn't muscle moved. It wasn't thought out moved. It was the energy of the visualization combined with the energy of this inhale expansion made those different movements. The biodynamics of gifted performance is not technical excellence or technical practice. It's getting back to what has been originally placed within us and learning how to use, maybe mix and match, or how to visualize and allow all those different energies to become available for our use. What's interesting is that the results are instantaneous. It's not like you have to keep training trying to get these type of results. We're returning back to the way that our bodies were originally designed. Uh, little children, little babies, this is how they walk. This is how they move. This is how they can pick up heavy objects. They're doing all this type of biodynamics naturally. And you'll notice they're using the inhale as well. So the artist, if they're painting a flower, then they just visualize exactly what they want to portray and they do it on the in-breath or the remnants of an in-breath. And it's placed, and that energy is placed into the brush, into the flow of the paint, and into the way that the body moves to, to create whatever they're trying to create. The lines are then infused with that energy the same way our hand is infused with that energy. So this is how the metaphysics work for the process of visualization to the physical and what connects the two is the realm of the breath, whether it's inhale or exhale. It turns out that the breath is the connection between the physical world and the metaphysical world, or this duality and that duality. It allows them to come together.